Hey everyone, it's the one and only Grandma Linda. We're going to do another video. This time it's going to be on cake decorating. It's going to be a fall theme and we're going to do some fun things. So we're going to maybe do some different colors of the, of the frosting and different colors of the cake mix and we're going to kind of just bump it up a little bit and get ready for fall. Okay, we're going to start out with the eggs. We're going to go according to directions on the box, on the cake mix box. And we're going to first of all crack three eggs. Do that right quick here. Make sure there's no eggs shells in the eggs when you get them into the bowl before mixing. Make sure that doesn't happen. You don't want to run into an egg shell. So we're going to three eggs in. Okay, take care of that. And then on the cake mix, it calls for one cup of water. We're going to do that first. Before we do the oil, we're going to do the water and then it won't stick to the measuring cup like the oil does. So we'll do this. And Okay, I'll do one cup of the water. And then I believe also it calls for, and we want to check this also, a half a cup of the oil. We're going to do this. Just any kind of vegetable oil, canola oil, whatever kind that you really choose to use and are happy with. We'll do this. Get it right up. Half a cup. We're going to check and see. How this looks. Yep. Looks good. Looks good. All the measuring is coming aboard here. We're going to take the package of cake mix, confetti cake mix. We also have some confetti frosting. We're going to play with that and really have fun with the frosting too. And we've got some food coloring. Once we get this mixed up. We might even do some changing of the color of the cake mix. We'll just kind of see how that goes. We're going to turn the mixer on so it's going to be a little loud. It's going to be a little loud. Look at all that pretty. Look at We're ready to do some decorating of the cake batter, if you will. And I'm going to put a little spoon here to maybe stop the flow once I get it into the pan. I'm going to put a little over half of the batter in here, in this area right here. And we're going to just kind of level this out a little bit on this. Okay, we're going to do some decorating of the cake batter. Kind of a fall theme. We're going to put this in the larger round pan and we're just going to kind of, this is going to be all kind of new and interesting. A little experimental here and there and we don't want to mix it in too much to make it a, a complete chocolate color covered cake. We're just going to I'm going to take a knife, I think, and maybe go through it, make a few swirly swirls here and there. I don't know, we've got our own design here. Who knows? It's kind of pretty. It's going to be too pretty to eat, so we'll, we'll just bake it and then we'll just look at it. How about that? Mm-hmm. That's kind of what I'm thinking. And we're going to go to this next round. Just kind of swirl some around here. And I don't want to have any leftovers, so we're going to, I don't know, I might just do something crazy and wild on my own here. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens here. We're going to take a knife to this. 
which is kind of kind of looks pretty with the orange and the dark dark almost black kind of a dark dark brown kind of pretty it's gonna be what it is what it is like the kids say it is what it is I just want to make sure I use all the battery I don't want to waste any of that I want to come back here with this that's really gonna be crazy Woo! oh my it's gonna be kind of kind of different anyway I want to make sure it gets all the way through but I don't want to make a solid color either couple blobs here and a couple blobs there. I'll probably not go into the cake decorating business, but it's kind of fun to see where it goes and how it turns out. You need to get some on the on the edges here. And I go through. I don't have to rinse it off because I got the same colors. Duh. Hello. This is kind of where it's going to end up. We've kind of went through the whole schmear here. We'll see what happens. We're going to bake this for about close to 30 minutes, I think. That's going to be the suggested time here. And I'm going to bring it over my squeaky oven door. Oh, maybe somebody oiled it. I don't know. We'll see what happens here. here, put another one here, well how about that, no squeak, <laughs> all right, well I guess I had a, a person that uh, made a comment I think on my last cooking video that I uh, used a, a different finger, I used this finger up here, but I have arthritis, so I use that finger, but I'm not going to use that finger this time. I'm going to use this one. So we're going to hope that we please everybody. And we'll see what happens. In about 30 minutes, we'll check back. I'm going to do a little tip top here. See where it goes, where it stops. Nobody knows. We'll go around here. And like I say, it's in the in the fall. And with the fall motif, we're gonna have some leaves that have fallen onto our pretty cake here. So fragile, the leaves are so fragile. We just kinda had them falling as it is. And with the fall, there are going to be some pumpkins for Halloween. Here we go. I'll do another pumpkin here. Oh. And then we've got some, some tree branches here that are going to kind of go along the side here. Kind of smash that in. Like I say, it's so delicate. Hopefully it won't melt before we get to enjoy it. And there's some tree branches here that have fallen next to the leaves. Oops. And there's some things over on this side here that I've just been kind of oogling and googling here. I don't even know what to call these, but I'm just kind of fascinated with with the effect that we're having here. There's some more delicate items here. 